this film's version of the priest um, is, is now a woman, which takes the burden off the audience of trying to compare the performance you know, to Doug Bradley's iconic portrayal of this character, lovingly known by the fans as Pinhead. Um, there's a sensuality to her, there's a grace, there's a beauty um, and, and a hunger and a desire um, that, that you will see um, as she navigates this world and encounters these different characters who have come into contact with this mysterious puzzle box and are trying to solve it um, through a myriad of tasks and games that the priest presents to them. I, so I watched the original the night before I taped my audition um, and I was completely taken with how sexy and uh, just beautiful and terrifying this world that Clive had created was. Um, and that made me want to audition more. Um, and then reading the script, um, it was so good. I mean, I remember thinking when I read the script, oh, wow, like this is good and this is gonna look good. Like if, it, if they can really do what they've written, like, wow, this is gonna be really, really, really good. Um, and I, I wanted, the second that I met David in the callback, um, I knew that I wanted to work with him. And if it wasn't gonna be on this, I was gonna petition him to work on anything that he was gonna do <laughs> because it was so much fun. I mean, he was everything that, that I want in a director as an actor. I mean, he gave such you know, interesting, fun direction and, and ideas that I hadn't thought of of what to do, you know, and, and with, with volume and with stillness and just in the callback. And then, you know, then once I got to Serbia and we started having Zooms and talking about, you know, the intention behind different scenes and what the priest wanted and what her goals were, you know, with different characters and different scenes, he was so generous, like with his direction and with his ideas and with everything that he had thought of that he, that he wanted. And then everything that, that I had and my well of emotion, it all just kind of like meshed together and, and it, it, we just, we gelled and, you know, and we, we, we did what we did and I just hope that people like it. The makeup process was, was intense. I've never done prosthetics before, um, but I was in such good hands with the Russells um, and their, their entire team. Um, Sierra Russell was like my, my key. She would do me every single day. Um, and Josh was always there, um, you know, gluing all the pins on individually to the, to the face piece while the head was, was coming on. Um, but the process, depending on the day, depending on how many um, other Cenobites were working that that day or um, how many practical effects were happening. Um, you know, for example, Goran's loom. Um, it, the makeup could take anywhere from four and a half to six hours. Um, if, if we could just focus and, you know, and it was just me, it could, we, we could do four and a half. Um, but, you know, if they had to step away, you know, or if there was, you know, if they were shorthanded that day up to six, um, it was, it was an incredibly, I had to be incredibly patient. I had to find a thing in myself that I didn't know existed. So I had to, <laughs> I had to just learn to sort of, you know, meditate and relax and just let this incredible team of people practice their craft on me, um, you know, every, every day that I would film. And then once I was in it, once the neck piece went on, I was in it for the duration of, of that filming day. Because it, it, it was too, it was too, jarring to go in and out of it. So I would go in it and stay. Um, and I would stay in it for the duration of filming. And I would, uh, a trick that I learned was to just isolate myself. Um, so I wouldn't, you know, be in the same sort of green room or holding as anybody else. I would try to find a corner and just sit and like face a wall, <laughs> um, you know, or just be with Sierra. Um, she was the only person that I would sort of, you know, like giggle with. Um, you know, if I ever did need, you know, like a break or a sip of a Schweppes bitter lemon, she was always there. <laughs> she was the, the only one that I would let come over to me when I wasn't filming, you know, to touch me and, and talk to me because it was, it was, it was a lot. Um, and then to take it all off, you know, was another 30 minutes to an hour. Um, just again, depending on how many people um, I had you know, taking off the hands, the face, the, the, the whole thing, you know? So it's like, if I could have someone on each hand and the face, 30 minutes, <laughs> but if it was just one or two people, it could take up to an hour. 
um, you know, but stripping that suit off at the end of the day was always a huge relief once the suit was off because um, it's incredibly restricting, especially across like it couldn't take a full, you couldn't expand into it. I couldn't take a full breath. So once the suit would come off, I was fine. And then it was just a lot of solvents and oils to remove everything.